Hi everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel and to everyone new, hello and welcome. So you are looking at, uh, I guess a little mess on the bed. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to give everybody a chance. This is going to be a details video of my new toddler, Liam. Um, that I that just arrived yesterday. I had the box opening. So to any of you that did not see the box opening, that doesn't you know want to see the baby first, um, exit out of this video and go to the previous video. It's the box opening. Um, and to everyone who is staying, I'm gonna focus on the baby now. So here he is. <laughs> So he's in a white onesie right now because of course we're just gonna we're gonna go over all of his details and I owe you all I am so sorry I owe you all a video of my um my Lanny he is uh the newest like infant baby uh that's come to my nursery and I was kind of in a funk with uh videos and hadn't even gotten to that yet but Liam is upstairs right now uh Lanny's downstairs I've been enjoying him holding him every night and stuff and so once I carry Liam down it's just easier for me to do it this way so doing it backwards but you all will also get a details video of uh the Lanny sculpt by Olga Auer and uh painted by um Chelsea Pierce at Pumpkin Sparkles Babies so that's coming as well so this is my Liam and oh my gosh um to those of you that have been with me and and following my journey along and collecting many of you know that I am a very like spontaneous person and you know most of my dolls just kind of arrive I fall in love and blah 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 and so this is kind of like the first baby that was really planned out in advance uh for me and <laughs> I could not be happier um it's just you know it's really worth it doing this way um you know I know many of you do like you know do customs and all that and it's never been for me because like I get you know I get antsy and I am not the type of person to you know, bug an artist, as you all probably know. So I just drive my friends nuts. <laughs> so thank you all <laughs> that have been with me through this journey. So here he is. I have not chosen a name. I have kind of several up on my, the top of my list. Um, because he's such a special baby and, you know, I really wanted to get to know his personality and see him in person. And, um, so I'm not, I'm not near, you know, I'm not even like 99%. I'm, I have a couple names and I'm still looking to see if there be one that pops up that might be like, oh yeah, that's it. Um, cause I really love it when I hit on a name that I'm like, oh, that, that's the name. That's perfect. But then again, sometimes you go back and forth and what you decide on, you know, works out beautifully. So I, yeah, I am, uh, I am thinking on his name. So he is the Liam Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. He is a toddler, uh, reborn, uh, reborn baby. Uh, he is 28 inches long and he is my Liam is how much does he weigh I think he's 11 11 pounds 9 ounces really nice weight for the Liam uh you know he feels nice and heavy um and I think I I had my last Liam um I had added some I weighted him I needed to I like distributed his weight the way that I wanted it and all but he was about this weight I don't have a scale but um I think heavier it'd be like uh, hard to lug around um this is just nice and perfect and this artist just happened to weight him like distribute the weight the way that I like it he feels great to me so speaking of this artist this amazing very special baby was done 
by Mary Kate McCormick, uh, Bash Mary Kate <laughs> Bashlin McCormick of Hill Country Reborns. Uh, many of you probably know her as Mary Kate and Steph Loves Dolls on Instagram. All of the artist's information is going to be below in the description of this video. So if you just hit the, the little kind of triangle that's in the, uh, what is it, right-hand corner, they'll, it, the description drops down and you can read the description of the video and in there will be the links to the artist and including, um, she, Mary Kate has, um, an Etsy shop. So I wanted to mention that because right now, and then I'm going to get into going, you know, going over the details of this baby, but, um, right now, and don't quote me on the length of time. I think it's like for the, the, just the remainder of this month, she is running a sale on her toddlers on a spot for her you know, toddlers. So I think that she's working out from the end or sometime at the end of the summer right now. Um, so those, you know, cost, uh, those, I don't know if it's custom or if it's just on a kit, you'd have to go look at the details, but let me tell you something. This artist, you know, pe pe co collectors are lined up, <laughs> you know, for her doll. She doesn't need to, you know, offer, that kind of sale and it's 40% off. So it's a really, really nice sale and it makes a toddler doll then obtainable, you know, to certain, you know, people. Um, especially you have time, you can make payments. So, um, that's a really, she has a good, good heart. Um, because I'm telling you, for sure. And even her regular pricing, not at 40% off, she still has really good prices. I'm, you know, uh, y'all, some of y'all follow me because you want my opinion and advice and all of that. And I'm telling you all, um, just can't beat it. So anyways, we are looking at him. I'm going to get up under now. Of course, Lighting, I feel like, is never perfect. It is daytime, but it's approaching the evening. This is the time that I am able to make the video, and so I hope that it will be sufficient. Um, it is some daylight, but they never, I feel like they never come across on camera. Um, like, I can't, let me see if I tip him up. I want to show you the beautiful color of his eyes. Um... I don't know where um, she gets her eyes. I can tell you that these are mouth-blown glass eyes. <laughs> um, but they are amazing. She picked out this color specifically for him. And they have like a... Um, they, they're they like a bluish green. They have a little bit of brown. I don't know if you consider them almost hazel. They're not really hazel because they're more like green and blue than brown. But... They're absolutely gorgeous. He has stunning rooted lashes. Her, the rooted, wow, look at those lashes. That's rooting, my friends. I mean, they are gorgeous. And actually, this one's, I just got to fix a little bit because that just happened in travel. And I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even, I have not even brushed his hair. His hair is so amazing that all I had to do was just go like this. Um, and of course, I can style it and make it more like proper and neat looking. Um, it's just my, you know, I love, I have it how I like it. Um, but I'll get into details on his hair in a minute. I just was trying to get you the color of his eyes. So he is amazing strawberry blonde and he is full of these freckles which I love 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 Mary Kate basically this is not basically he is complete creative freedom for the artist okay so he was created for specifically for me but this is Mary Kate's vision of Liam for me and how she arrived at it as you know she, we we chatted back and forth a little bit 
Um, I guess she had a look at my, you know, collection. I talked to her about the kind of, like, what I really, you know, loved and went for in the painting. I mentioned that I loved her signature freckles because I feel like she really does it, such an amazing job on them. She makes her dolls so cute and the realism on these freckles. I mean, uh, now I'm getting all up on him and just look at the realism in this face. I mean, that's a baby. If you all weren't doll collectors and knew you were looking at a doll, you'd think you were looking at a child. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> so, um, so she, she knew that I loved the freckles and she had mentioned in the beginning, she said, I kind of have a vision for you of like, you know, a, a freckle face, you know, strawberry blonde, kind of full of mischief little boy, you know, he's such a character, and I said, yes, yes, that's perfect, and I love it, you know, I love the way it sounds, and, you know, that's it, she, she went, you know, forward, and let's, let's start at his feet, let's get to this painting many of you know what the liam sculpt looks like if you want like a detail as far as the sculpting let me know and i'll do another video um so i'm gonna focus on the art rather than because he's i'll just say in my opinion the liam bonnie brown this sculpt is a true masterpiece in itself um really uh, just amazing sculpting on this toddler and I have looked and looked and looked and looked at toddlers and there's some really you know nice ones out there but to me nothing topped the sculpting on the Liam um I'd love your suggestions down below to all of you that love toddlers and have toddlers um because eventually I don't think that I could resist from wanting to add a sister <laughs> for this little boy and I don't want the same sculpt it's too big of a doll to have the exact same sculpt um so I would want something you know different but to, to enjoy having a little girl toddler of course from Mary Kate so I will take your your toddler sculpt suggestions if you'd like to leave them so anyway okay back to his feet back to his feet Okay, look at, I am actually um, so floored by what I'm looking at. You know, when I opened him, I just did not expect, it, you know, I mean, I knew, I saw pictures of him, I knew he was amazing and beautiful, but the detail, the level of detail and layers and translucency on this baby's skin is to achieve this in a toddler, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless because this is, I mean, this is layers upon layers upon layers upon layers, uh, thin, translucent, and just look at the coloring look at the look at first off look at the veining I saw that in the picture that gorgeous vein I was like oh my gosh and he has these all over look at the freckles look at the mottling can I don't know if you all can see the mottling in here and then he's just blushed in all the right place I mean his he looks so real. You come up, look at this, like you're going to pinch a roll. But just, I mean, I hope you're seeing some of what I am, what I can see on, on this. Look at the way, and look at the way that the top of his feet are blushed. And I, I just floored. I mean, going up. Look at his knees. This knee, he has a scratch on his knee. I don't, I can't remember. Look, look at how real that looks. I mean, and I'll back it up. His knees, 
she blushed and painted them in such a way that they have that almost bruised look um, that a toddler's knees has when they're, you know, when they're first getting up and starting to walk and they're still crawling around and they're bumping and banging around and on the floor all day. This is what my kids' knees looked like. You know, the knees are going to be, are, are, you know, on a toddler, they're a different color than, you know, they're the rest of their, you know. And it's always when they get a little bigger and they get into the kids, then you get the, bru- the bruisings. <laughs> this age, you get the, uh, the knees. I mean, like, she captured that in, I'm like, I'm besides myself. I really am. You know, that is some incredible art. I mean, that is some incredible. Just, I got to take a sip of my coffee, guys. Sorry. I'll let you just look at his. And this uh, is, I mean, everybody's style and what they love in uh, every as a collector is different. Some folks love the, that that peaches and cream, perfect skin look, porcelain doll look. You know that kind of just everything's creamy, smooth, and perfect. Um, you know. It depends on what kind of collector you are. But if you are a collector that loves that, the hyper realism in your dolls, that super hyper realism that, you know, you kind of, you're seeing more and more these days of artists, you know, they're learning these new techniques to give us this like super hyper realism and to to see it in a toddler doll, which a lot of artists won't even touch toddlers, or they they're like, I've done one once, never again. It was hell. It was blah blah blah. You know because they're big to paint. It's a lot, a lot of work. It takes a certain talent, and this artist loves painting toddlers that's all she does it's her passion which I find remarkable in itself but anywho um back to you know because I allowed Mary Kate free creative reign and I mentioned I know I mentioned in the beginning that I you know I love that hyper realism in my dolls and I love you know blotchy blemishes uh you know I might have mentioned bruised scratched knees I don't even remember but I I definitely just would just that kind of told her you know this type of collector I am which of course I do have you know a collection for to look at and go on so she was able to read that in me so well in creating a a baby for me and I I really feel like she has that ability so you know I don't know I I just I can't say enough or how, how happy I am how impressed I am and just the character um that he has because you all know that that's very special to me that when a doll has this kind of you know um character and you know just life and you know mischief and oh my goodness he's just very me very me um and so and I feel like she's you know if you look at the pictures on her page and you know even how she dresses each doll for the final photo shoot that she does it's like the style suits that particular you know doll um I don't know all of the collectors I know some of them I try do try to follow her dolls I a lot of artist dolls I enjoy watching them come to life and and go home and all that um and it is really neat to see that you know each the doll kind of fits the collector uh is you know but you know I definitely would give the advice in this video uh (laughs) the proof is in the pudding here folks (laughs) 
um you know it, you know if you just if if you go with an artist that you love their work and you have faith in that artist and you just give them some creative freedom you know it you're you're going to get you know um, their best work, you know, because that's how they, they push and they, they grow and they, you know, say, oh, let, you know, let me try this and do this technique or, or this or what at, whatever. That's how you, you know, you get there. Um, you know, that's how these special babies come about. In my opinion, it's just my opinion as a collector. That's what I'm here to do to share with you all. Um, but, and I'll just show details like, oh my gosh, her nails, you know, she does the half moon absolutely perfectly. They're, uh, they're tipped but not heavily, which is just absolutely perfect. I mean, that's like real, you know, I, it just doesn't get more real than that. Look at that hand. I'll show you, just show you his feet too. These toes are just, oh my gosh gosh I mean you know she picked up on the sculpt the you know the look at that this is what I call <laughs> yep I have my own little language for it ow ow I'm on my knees ladies and gents sorry I gotta get up um this is what I call using the sculpt to the fullest advantage <laughs> you know what I mean um, you know, taking every opportunity, every crease, every place, you know, that the sculptor sculpted something unique and realistic for the artist to, um, what's the word, uh, to bring out, to, uh, I, there's a word and I'm lost for it, but you all know what I mean. Like, you know, there's, you know, there's details that are there in every sculpt that, you know, are, um, you know, artists can use. Um, and it's just, I just, I love it. I just love it when artists do this. So his hair, <laughs> this rooting is so phenomenal. I mean, so phenomenal. I'm going to try to get up in there. It is definitely, it's micro rooted pretty close to, I think there's even mono rooting in here, which is just for a toddler, for a, a head of hair. I mean, you can't do 100% mono rooting on this amount of hair because you need to achieve a fullerness. But it, it's so close, so it's just look growing out of his head. I don't know if he can just see how beautiful, you know, and um, this level of detail on the rooting, again, you just don't even expect it to be this far in a toddler it's just uh, that's a big head that takes a long time to do that's a lot of work and she does amazing now I don't have them all brushed you know neatly she's got a beautiful swirl here there's pictures up on her own Instagram so I'm not doing that justice necessarily in that way because I don't have it um you know brushed I don't have it styled, you know, neatly, but anyway, it's just so beautifully rooted and the hair itself is absolutely baby fine, touching clouds, touching heaven. I, I don't even know the, the color is now Mary, Mary Kate, it's there, um, processes her own mohair from the raw so this is her she cut you know processed it colored it you know for, and she does all you know different you know kinds of hair um this is uh you know this is a strawberry blonde but it's so beautifully highlighted you know it's just so real look at this hair 
you know, because it's not like just bluntly all one color of strawberry blonde. You know, it's just got so many gorgeous highlights in it. I, this is definitely, this is my favorite hair I've ever seen. I, 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 this is incredible. I just, I really, really just, I love the color. I love the feel and I love the, the rooting. So, um, you know, what you're seeing in pictures and he looks really amazing. He's got a little fuzzy in there. Okay. Um, what you're seeing in pictures and he looks amazing in pictures is even like just the detail in person is incredible. He's even 10 times better better in person and the pictures blow you away you know what I mean like he so I wanted to show that the best that I possibly could um I don't you know I know this is long um and I'm probably forgetting stuff and I apologize but you'll see him a lot in videos um because you know I really enjoy the feel of having a toddler in the nursery it's fun for me I like the role play there'll be role play with him I really enjoy that you know as a collector myself so you're definitely you know, going to be able to follow him along, find out what his name is. And y'all know I talk about the art and the detail and, and all that in all my videos when I'm showing babies. And look at his mouth inside. I, I don't know if I can get up on his tongue. I mean, it's so, it's so real in there. Look at that. I mean, look at that, like, raspberry tongue. I, I just... Everything about, look at the the depth she got in the nose to give that illusion of it. He's, he doesn't have an open nose, but it's like, looks like he does. I mean, he looks like he's breathing. Is that not just absolutely incredible? <laughs> just, I'm so in love with this baby. So in love with this baby. So, um, and... Lastly, I will say her varnish, her matting is, I love, 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 um, because it's a nice textured matting. It's not rough. It's not sandpapery, but it's, you know, a nice textured matting. Um, I kind of, through the years, know my, you know, like, what kind of matting is going to hold up and you know he's matted really beautifully so I'm not afraid to you know change him and stuff although all of my dolls I try to go easy I try to you know leave an outfit on longer than even though I want to change him and see him in a new one and that sort of thing because you know I like to keep my collection pristine however he is you know, like I said, he's, he's going to hold up beautifully. Her, her matting is really nice. So, uh, I just, you know, I wanted to give you all these details and talk about this because I am just truly grateful when, uh, you know, to have that sort of, you know, to, I don't know, to have a baby made so special for me, um, that an artist like used all their talents, you know, to, to, you know, hone in on, you know, my style and, you know, just, I don't know. It's just really, it's just nice. And I, you know, he's a really special baby that I was really looking forward to. And he's better than I ever, like, I couldn't have dreamed this up. I couldn't have put into words or gotten this out of some you know someone else's hands it ha it came from you know what I'm I don't know if that makes sense to you all um so <laughs> I I really just I really appreciate him I really love him so anywho uh like I said go check out uh Mary Kate Bashlyn McCormick at Hill Country Reborn. She does not disappoint. And man, I would get my butt over there with whatever that sale. She's running the 40% off. Uh, it's on her Etsy shop because um, that is most definitely out of the kindness of her heart. Um, she is definitely, you know, that 
I can see she's that type of person, that type of artist where she wants everybody to be happy. Um, she wants her dolls, you know, to make people happy. And, you know, she's, you know, kindly, you know, giving, making it so where, you know, more people, you know, her dolls will be obtainable to, even though she's got, you know, um, you know, people lined up waiting for her babies. So, and every once in a while, she springs a finished baby and even giveaways on her, um, on her page. So, yeah, she's, she's that kind of artist. So, um, which is just really nice. I love when they have, um, that kind of heart, uh, because I get that energy off of my dolls. You all know that. All of you that follow me, you all know that that um you know that energy transfers to me through through the doll through the art uh, and you know makes me happy as a person as a collector so yeah that would be me all right folks i hope you enjoyed him please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it um, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to see more and hit that notification bell so that you receive invites to my live streams and so you never miss a video. And I will try and get up all uh, live for you all. I'll probably bring this little bub. Um, I'm working hard on a name. I just want to make sure I get it right. I want his name to, to suit him perfectly and be a name that I love and I'm happy with. So... I hope I didn't forget anything. All right, folks. Thanks for being with me. Thank you all, everybody, to all your congratulations. Um, it's, it's you know, it's just so fun to share with you all. And it just made it even more exciting um, bringing this special little boy home. Uh, you know, my messages and texts was blowing up everybody was like oh my gosh you're Liam you're Liam so <laughs> it just um it just was so fun to you know hear from everyone and all your um lovely comments on his uh box opening which are still coming in thank you for sharing in this moment with me it it just makes it so special to share with all of you collectors out there all right everyone stay safe and stay well God bless.